Well, this kitchen definitely needs doing up. Anyway, hello everyone. Budgie here and welcome back to another Unturned video. Welcome back to the world of Unturned Life. We're now on episode 91 of Unturned Life. This is actually crazy. How are we on episode 91? It's gone so fast and we're so close to episode 100, which by the way, I think I'm actually going to do a, another face cam. We did face cam for episode 50 and it went pretty well. You guys seem to really enjoy it and I think I might even make the episode an hour long. I'll see what I can do about that. Also guys, we now have a new name for the shop. And it is Boris Berg Bazaar. Bazaar. Yes. <laughs> so uh, congratulations to this person on screen right now. You've won the name. Now, we had a lot of name suggestions. A lot of you guys left awesome comments. So thank you to everyone who uh, thought of a name. But this one just kind of stood out to me. And also, a lot of people seem to agree with it. There were quite a lot of uh, likes on that comment as well. Another name I was considering was the Diamond Coin. Um, however, that sounds more like a pub, I guess. So, yeah, I chose to uh, to go away from that. But this is, like, a, a good name. It's where you just sell, like, miscellaneous stuff, I guess. And that's what my shop is. They're going to be selling weapons and, you know, anything I find, really. So, yes, that's what we're going to do. Also, we still need to write in a sign. Now, like I said, <laughs> when I first started the episode, I said this kitchen needs sawing. As you can see, it's not aligned. It, it's a bit of a bad job. There's a big gap here, and it, it just looks a mess. And I really want to get it done up. So we're going to go head over to Meme Thief. He said that he would do it up for me for a good price. Also, we should probably get some money out first just before we do this. But that's okay because we've got all these coins upstairs. I'm not too sure how much he's going to ask for it. So let's just get <laughs> quite a bit, shall we? I can't imagine it's going to cost me too much. So we should be good. Hopefully he's in his, his shop just over here. Oh, there's Soldier. Meme Thief's legal department, a bounty hunter association. He better be in his doors open, so I'm just going to assume he is. There he is. Hey, dude. Hey, what's up? Okay, so uh, like you said earlier to me, you said that you could do it in my kitchen, right? Mm-hmm. How much, roughly, would it be? Uh, about 5 DC. 5 DC. Okay, that's not too bad here. I'll tell you what. Come to my shop, check it out, and try and figure out what you can do as well. So, yeah, before I started recording, okay. I spoke to uh, Meme Thief about it, and he said that he could do it. Yeah. Um, 5 diamond coins isn't too bad, though. Okay, so here's the kitchen that needs doing up. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> Are you capable of, you know, making it look awesome, neat and tidy? Yep, I, I, I can do this. Okay, well, uh, here are five diamond coins then. Let's go ahead and drop in five. And there we go. All right, dude, I have some stuff to do now. So, um, I'll... yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll leave these doors open for you. I've got other stuff I need to do, so have fun. And now the next thing I need to do is go head over to the uh, Sopranos refinery that we saw in the last episode. Also, no cars allowed. The sign has now been put up, which is good. So we're going to go over to the refinery. I think Lorenzo's online along with Jackson. Apparently, they're selling their train as it's not needed anymore. Hey, buddy. Can I come in? Oh, thank you. There we are. Ah. Oh. Looks like they've added some more stuff. Changed it hey, around. Hey, Boris, you here? Yeah, man. Where, where are you? Come upstairs. Ladder, upstairs. You know? Okay. Oh, hey, there man. There you go. There yeah. you go. How's it going? Yeah, not too no. bad. I can see you're uh, you're working right now. I am. Now I do believe you are here for a purpose. That, that is purpose correct. Today is to buy a train. Indeed, now, I am. Let's go sort that out. Thirty DC. Thirty diamond coins. Get you a fresh train. Oh, okay. Thirty diamond coins. Oh man, that's more than I thought, but. I guess it is a train at the end of the day. I'll tell you what, I'll go grab my money and we'll go over to the train right now. How does that sound? Sounds fine with me. Okay, I'll be Just two seconds, the okay? Farmer's garage right up there. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, there we go. Wow, that was quick and easy. I'm going to go buy the train. 30 diamond coins. It is expensive, I know. However, you know, we do have quite a lot of money to spend. So, you know, I might as well buy the train. So what I plan on doing is with the train is also turning it into a shop, a mobile shop. And it also means we can uh, get round a lot faster. So let's go grab the money. 30. There we go. We're also going to take some more out just in case. Wow. All right. That's a lot of money to be bringing out with me. Oh, my goodness. So they told me to meet them at the garages. I think we're going to get a lift over there, which is good. Oh, they're already out. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go. Another reason I really want to buy the train is because a really, really small safe zone has been set up where the uh, train is at the end of the tunnel, which means... It can't be stolen. Well, it still can be stolen, but I can protect it more than what I could before. So now that there's a safe zone, it's the perfect time to buy it. No one can actually like fully take it, so we're all good. And it also means we can we can build there as well if we wanted to. We can have a little train station, maybe. We could there's so many things we could do with this train, to be honest, that will generate income. Not only can we make it into a mobile shop, 
We can also make it into a um, transportation, you know, give people rides um, across Russia. And we can also use it for ourselves to go out looting. Okay, there it is. Oh, yeah. So there we go. We've entered region train. There she is. She's a beauty. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and buy it right now. I'm no messing around, okay? So here are your coins. All Let's right. go and drop them all. 28, 29, 30. There we are. That's all the coins. Hopefully that's all correct. All right. There we go. All things seem to be in order. Jackson's just picking up this metal pipe here. Jackson, if you would unlock the train. Yes. Okay, so obviously uh, we're all Sopranos here. So if you guys... Leave this with you. Thank you. If you guys need any help or need this train, you know, just let me know and uh, I'll give you guys a hand. Okay, so for now we're just going to put the metal pipe here Thank like they much. did just to stop anyone from uh, breaking it. Now, uh, because this is a safe zone, uh, it does mean that this pipe can't be destroyed, no matter if someone right, stole the train and then backed up quite far and tried wrecking it, it, it won't work. Grand exit. Thank you guys, I think that's all I need today. So, uh, thanks for the train. I'll scram. Well, there they go. <laughs> nice. For a dramatic exit. Good, good job. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, there they go. There we are, the train is ours. You know what's really funny about this? Um, hello? Where the hell did you come from? Soldier, did you follow me here? You do realize that bounty's still on your head. Alright, so I should probably lock this train. I don't think I've even locked it yet, have I? No, I haven't. <laughs> that would probably be a good idea. Oh, look at that. It's raining. Great. Okay, do I have anything on me that I can actually use to turn this into a shop? I have my coins, which we can turn into metal scrap. So I guess that could work. And from that, we can turn them into metal sheets. And then into metal plaques. Oh yeah, and you also noticed that the Mafia little shop area here is gone. I think that was only a temporary place. They either packed it up or it just got raided. So we can make this place like a really nice little train station if we wanted to. I'm probably going to change the pipe because I think it just kind of looks a bit weird like that. We should have like a, a door or an entrance maybe blocking it. Have a gate that comes up and down. That could work. Something I'll have to look into. There's so much we can do with this train. Okay, let's make some plaques, shall we? Um, oh yeah, we need to make some bars. That would, uh, that would help. Um, another thing I need to do is because, obviously, when we drive this train outside the safe zone, it means we can be shot. So if I can maybe set up some sort of protection, maybe get some uh, some little plates or sidings, that could definitely help. Even sandbags, but that might look a bit a bit strange. So let's actually do that first before we do anything. Oh, that's that could work. Okay. And then how we, if we have it like that. Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. Oh, that's almost perfect. Look at that. Yes. Okay, let's make some more of them. Let's make two more. That is so perfect. Let's see if we can get this one good as well. We don't want it to clip through though. So let's see. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I mean, obviously our vision is not going to be great. So that's the only downside to this when we're in first person. We'll just have to use third person mode when we're driving the train. And place. There we go. Looking good. We are protected from anyone that shoots in now. Yeah, it's good. All right, good stuff. What else should we add? We could just have like a pretty simple, like just loads of little metal plaques on the side. That's the easiest way to go about it. Same with rifle racks and stuff like that. We have also got these like free flatbeds, the free little trailers on the end here, which we could probably utilize somehow. What could we use on here? We could just use them for storage or we could have each individual one something different. I think for now we should just maybe, maybe not go too far with this trade and just stick to what we got. Let's make some more uh, metal plaques, shall we? But um, just while I'm making these metal plaques, if you guys do want to keep up with this series, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, and also drop a like on this video if you enjoy it. I know I say this in pretty much every single episode, but um, by hitting that subscribe button, that way you do get to keep up with the series as I upload these pretty much daily, or at least I try to anyway, so yes. All right, we've made a bunch of plaques now. If we don't like how it is, we can always change it anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. Let's start by placing these up here, I guess. There we go. And what do we have to sell? Oh, that one's kind of not in the middle. There we are. We can sell... Oh, no, I'm going by accident. Let's sell... I don't know. I have nothing to sell right now. Okay, never mind. All right, let's get rid of this bar. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, we have the train now. After all this time of saying I wanted to buy the train... We finally have enough money to get it, and this is just such a good feeling to finally have it. It's all ours to do whatever we want with it. Now, there are some people around here, so I've got to be really careful now. I don't want anyone to attack me. 
I don't think it's worth checking the VOD right now. I think we just go straight past it. We could probably even go to Firewatch Base and try and get a new uh, new gas mask. We already have one back at our shop and one in Novo as well. So we just need some more filters, really. We're actually really low on filters. I'll see if I can find some. And if not, then I'll probably just go and buy, you know, buy some from the shops in, in Borisburg. Oh, it feels so good to have this train. Hopefully we have enough fuel because <laughs> it is going pretty quickly, actually. It should be okay. If it goes below below 40, I'll have to make sure to return as quickly as I can. But correct me if I'm wrong. The train is one of the fastest vehicles in Unturned. As you can see, we're going 143 kilometers per hour right now. Yeah, I'm not too sure which is the fastest vehicle. We've got the fire jet, which is fast as well. Uh, the race cars, quick. I wonder how uh, Mean Thief's getting on in the kitchen. He's probably done by now, actually. So that's something to look forward to when we get back. Um, all right, we're at the end now. I can't imagine anyone's going to be here. I really hope not anyway. Firewatch base. Let's see what you got for me. Hey, the rain stopped. I just topped up my ammo on the Matamores. Ah, that's perfect timing. Yeah, I haven't actually been to Firewatch base in quite a while, so hopefully we find something good. I'm pretty sure loot respawned not long ago, so we should be good to find some stuff if no one else has been here. Die. All right, please. I want some filters and a gas mask. That would be awesome. All right, let's check the tower. Often you find uh, some good stuff in the towers, so it's always worth checking them out. I'm still using my new computer, of course, which I built recently, and I am in love with this thing. It is so fast. It's just so awesome to have because my last computer, I had it for maybe three years or so, and it was just running quite slow with Unturned when it came to video editing and everything like that, so... I'm really happy I got this thing. It's just an absolute beast. And I should be releasing a video on it very soon. Um, I'm just working on it at a minute. Hey, look, a filter. Yes. So, yeah, I'm just working on the video of me building it and everything right now. Um, hopefully, oh, and a gas mask. Yes. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, sorry, anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, but, yeah, um, I'm really glad I got this this computer. It's, it's so good. And I'm looking forward to showing you guys it and me building it. Because I know a lot of you guys watching this are actually interested in computers and things like that so i'm sure you're gonna enjoy that video when it comes out we've come a long way i think since i started doing youtube i was 11 years old when i first started doing youtube and to think where where i am now at 160,000 subscribers we're over 160,000. <laughs> you know um it, it's pretty insane it really is so i i guess i'm just really grateful for all you guys for the, all the support on the, on the channel well, Firewatch base, thank you for the gas mask and the filter. I'm going to quickly go ahead and check this tower and, and then we'll get back in the train. Hopefully it hasn't been stolen because I've only had it for about five minutes. And, well, we can't exactly protect it over here. So I'm actually going to quickly check on it, make sure it's still there. Oh, I'm going to be annoyed if it's gone. Please tell me it's there. All right, we're good. It's still there. Ah. <sighs> All right, we're good. We're good. Let's go check this tower and then we're gonna head back. Please have something good in this tower But yeah, I was, I was just like I was saying like I'm just glad we have this uh, new computer now. So hopefully I should be able to um, make more videos now in the future and I can just render so much faster and I feel like this computer won't won't drag me down like my other one My other one was a little bit. So yeah, I remember when I first mentioned it, everyone was asking if they could have my, <laughs> my old computer. Unfortunately, I'm not selling my old computer. I'm actually keeping it as a backup. If anything happens to this new one that I've built, um, I always have something to fall back on. Hey, another filter. All right, well, that filter makes this trip worth it, actually. So let's go straight back down to our train and get back to Borisburg, I think, because in maybe the next episode or so, or in episodes to come, we'll probably upgrade it even more. Make it look nice, ready for it to go out into the big world. I mean, even though we are technically out right now, but I mean, ready for people to buy stuff from it. There we go. We're back. Let's go. Let's go straight backwards. I think it goes the same speed backwards, so we're all good. Goodbye, Firewatch Base. I'll be back soon. Maybe. Okay, we're almost back now. We're about to pass the VOD, I think. We're getting pretty close to it. Yeah, I can see it just over there. So once we're back... We'll probably head back to Borisburg. We need to find some fuel as well. I know we have some gas gas tanks or gas cans um, at our shop. At least we do in Novo anyway. So if we can't find any, I'll make sure to go back to Novo and get it. Pretty sure we have an industrial gas can as well. Uh, that could be in Novo though. And since we're using this train, I think we're going to need it. So it could be worth heading back over there at some point to go get it. All right. We're about to enter the train safe zone. It's got a really small radius, so... 
it's, it's really tiny. It's literally just for the train. So whenever we sell this, if we ever plan on selling it, even though I just I know I'm, I know I'm talking about selling it, even though I've just bought it. But in the future, if we ever do plan on selling it, it does mean that anyone that owns it, it won't get stolen, which is good. So, all right, and place. There we go. All right, that was awesome. That was a lot of fun actually. So we managed to get a gas mask and a couple of filters from that little trip, which actually makes it worth it in my opinion. So, yeah. All right. Let's see if there's anything down here, shall we? Oh, look at that. There's a Yuri right here. Yeah, we'll take it. There's a Mega down there. Should we try and get his attention? Yeah, let's take him out. He might drop something good. Is he going to come this way? I need to make sure no one else is around here because if we go in there, it's not the safe zone anymore. Okay, let's go get his attention. <sighs> Quick scoped. Yeah. Come here. I want to take you out, Mega. Oh, he dropped the... Oh, run! Okay, we got a man Mores, so we can take him out pretty easily, hopefully, anyway. Wait, actually, if he walks into this zone... Oh, he dies! <laughs> we don't have to do anything, because it's uh, a safe zone. Oh, but that does mean he doesn't drop anything, I think. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. <laughs> We're all good, it doesn't matter too much. Do you know what? I'm actually going to take some of these uh, these tops and stuff, because I want to turn it into cloth. We've got a real shortage of cloth at the minute, so... We might as well go ahead and take it. Yep, all right, we're good. I'm actually going to go ahead and teleport back to my shop, or Borisburg Bazaar, as it's now called. All right, let's teleport home. Let's go. Goodbye, train. I'll see you soon. I should be back with fuel. Home, sweet home. Look at all the uh, the flags that have been put up. Maybe we should get a flag as well, since everyone else is doing it. Oh, yeah, let's check out. Oh, everyone's in my shop. Hey, Minfief, how's it going? Oh, no way. Oh, my goodness. Dude, you've done such a better job than what I thought you would. Oh my goodness. This is so nice, bro. Look at this. There's even a blunt force on the side. And I get a cake as well. And some carrots. Yep. <laughs> and a bit of bread. Wow. That's the uh, the best five diamond coins I've ever spent. So yeah, Mean Thief has actually done a really good job. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to need some stuff to cook with. So you know that pan you have right there? And there's a diamond coin for it. Thanks, dude. <laughs> it's a little tip. I can do some cooking now. Look, it's got an egg in there. Do you want some? Oh, whoa. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, man. No, that was a thing. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I left a uh, knife in this thing for you. <laughs> you left it? Oh, well, that's dangerous. <laughs> okay, well, I can stay there, I guess. I've got to close up now, though. All right. Have a good time. And you will see you around. Bye-bye. There we go. Okay, good stuff. Look at this. Our new kitchen. That's so much better than what I actually thought it was going to look. So we can actually use all this for storage as well. Oh, this is this is amazing. So I guess we can keep all the food in the fridge and anything else we want to store away can just go in here. We can also use it to help us in the shop. We still don't have a counter here though. We might need to uh, add that very soon. Can't stop looking at it. It just looks so nice. Okay, let's go back upstairs and store away some of the stuff we just got. Oh yeah, we need to turn the stuff into cloth. I forgot. Let's do that real quick if I can actually type correctly. There we go. Oh wait, do we have enough cloth to make a sofa or a couch? They're called on here, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. No, we don't. Right. We need to save up for that. We need to get a a flare anyway to change the color of it. So for now, I oh, would. I thought we dropped the uh, Subbeknikov. It was actually a uh, Stepashka. My bad. Let's just sort our inventory out real quick. Drop this stuff off. I was not gonna need it right now. There we go. All right, well, I'll have to sort all this out another time. Okay, so now that the sun is going down, I'm actually going to end this episode right here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did believe in a like. Comment and subscribe to the channel for more content. I'm actually really looking forward to doing up the train as well, turning it into a mobile shop. It should be a lot of fun. So uh, I look forward to doing that in the future. But yeah, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. I'll leave a link for both in the description below. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.